What is going on guys and welcome to another video and in today's video we will be looking at my five most used Mac utility apps. Congratulations on purchasing a new MacBook or if you are just brushing up or looking for some new Mac apps to put on your computer, these are those five. All right, let's get into it. First app that I want to show you guys is called Yoink. And Yoink, I believe, is on the App Store. Perfect. It is on there. So what Yoink is, is it's kind of like a quick cut and paste type of tool. So if I go to a picture here, it works with anything, though. It works with text. It works with anything. So say I like this picture. I can click and drag it and move it there, and it'll keep it there. And I want this picture. And I can move this picture and move it here. And then if I want to, say, make a slideshow, I can go to slides.new and create a slide and just click and drag and drop it right in. And you can also pile them on top of each other. It's super useful. You can use it with text, pictures, websites, anything. It's awesome. Okay, let's get right to the second app. And this is called Bartender. And they are on their fourth edition of this. I've had it since Bartender 1. But what it basically does is it allows your menu bar to be nice and clean and minimalistic. So it's $20. Uh, I think I got it for 15 at the time, but it's definitely worth it um, in my mind. It just makes it so your menu bar is a lot cleaner. So if we look up here, you can see how there's all these different um, icons. And those will just eventually just like, it'll just, the more you install, the more you'll have up here. So what you can do is you can go into your preferences and you can choose what is hidden and what appears. So if there's certain items that you don't use, for example, Alfred, 1Password, and OneDrive, I have, and Yoink, I have always hidden. Because if you have a software that's open, it's, and it's designated to be, to take up a spot in the menu bar, that's just going to clog it up. So to me, I like it because you can make it nice and tidy and minimalist. And that's what I like about it. Um, and you can customize it the way you want. So that's what, yeah, to me, it's a, it's a solid, um, it's a solid program and it's worth it. So you can have no spacing, small spacing, normal spacing, and just make it, make it your own. So, uh, to some people it might not be worth the money, but, uh, they give you a free trial so you can try it out and see if you like it. And if it's, if you find it's worth it then try it out. And I don't think that is available in the App Store. Okay, so the third app that I'm going to show you is an app called PopClip. And PopClip is an app that you install on your Mac. And what it's supposed to do is when you appear, when you select any text with your mouse, it'll automatically pop up like cut, copy, paste, web search, but here's the, the powerful thing about this tool is as soon as you highlight something, and I'm not sure there. Okay, so see how when I highlight this, it comes up. So this is like your default one, but you have built-in Google Translate. You have Yoink right there. You can send a, a text message. You can IMDB. So that's like, so say if there's a, an actor's name or a person's name, you can... IMDB them. This is the large type. So these are just the tools that I've installed on it. But if I go up to pop clip and I go to the uh, actions, you can add tons of different actions. So these are all different extensions that you can add to it. So like here's highlight the selected te text and works and pages preview Evernote all alter notes, scrivener, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can make the selected text all uppercase, so you can transform text, text edit. You can mark down text, convert the markdown text to HTML markup, large type. You can have it speak the text to you. Um, there's a whole bunch of different translators. You can make a new sticky note with selected text. So these are all the different note apps that you can convert to, and all these are, are included with them. You can highlight something from, say, like an email and put it into a reminder. Um, 
a to-do list. So these are all your to-do apps, calendar apps, uh, contact apps, drag and drop utilities. So Yoink is on there, launcher apps, um, doing web searches right from there. It's just something that I find super useful. I mean, you could just highlight it and right click and then copy or whatever. Um, and I don't know why it's, I think it's because of the screen recording that's making it act funny. Strange. Oh, there we go. So you got your dictionary, IMDB. So you can go IMDB, Amazon, and then I'll bring up that. So I find it useful um, and I enjoy it. So YouTube, search for videos on YouTube based on you know, whatever it is that you're reading about. So if, uh, so I'll show you how easy it is to install. You just go to download that'll, that'll download it to your computer. Then you just click this, you'll hear a little, and there it is right there. So now if I want to do a YouTube search on Wolfram alpha, I just click there that opens up YouTube and there's Wolfram alpha. It's just, it's, it kind of just, uh, makes those steps. Like I could have copied and pasted Wolfram Alpha or opened up, um, I could have just opened up YouTube and did that. But to me, it just makes the workflow faster. Okay, so the third app that I'm going to show you is an app called PopClip. And PopClip is an app that you install on your Mac. And what it's supposed to do is when you appear, when you select any text with your mouse, it'll automatically pop up like cut, copy, paste, web search. But here's the, the powerful thing about this tool is as soon as you highlight something, and I'm not sure there, okay, so see how when I highlight this, it comes up. So this is like your default one, but you have built in Google Translate, you have Yoink right there, you can send a, a text message, you can IMDB. So that's like, so say if there's a, an actor's name or a person's name, you can IMDB them. This is the large type. So these are just the tools that I've installed on it. But if I go up to pop clip and I go to the uh, actions, you can add tons of different actions. So these are all different extensions that you can add to it. So like here's highlight the selected te text and works and pages preview, Evernote, all alter notes, screw it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can make the selected text all uppercase. So you can transform text, text edit. You can mark down text, convert the markdown text to HTML markup, large type. You can have it speak the text to you. Um, there's a whole bunch of different translators. You can make a new sticky note with selected text. So these are all the different note apps that you can convert to. And all these are, are included with them. You can highlight something from say like an email and put it into a reminder, um, a to-do list. So these are all your to-do apps, calendar apps, uh, contact apps, drag and drop utilities. So Yoink is on there, launcher apps. Um, doing web searches right from there. It's just something that I find super useful. I mean, you could just highlight it and right click and then copy or whatever. Um, and I don't know why it's, I think it's because of the screen recording that's making it act funny. Strange. Oh, there we go. So you get your dictionary, IMDB. So you can go IMDB, Amazon, and then I'll bring up that. So I find it useful um, and I enjoy it. So YouTube, search for videos on YouTube based on, you know, whatever it is that you're reading about. So if, uh, so I'll show you how easy it is to install. You just go to download, that'll, that'll download it to your computer. Then you just click this, you'll hear a little, and there it is right there. So now if I want to 
do a YouTube search on Wolfram Alpha. I just click there, that opens up YouTube and there's Wolfram Alpha. It's just, it's, it kind of just uh, makes those steps. Like I could have copied and pasted Wolfram Alpha or opened up, um, I could have just opened up YouTube and done, did that. But to me, it just makes the workflow faster. Okay, so the fourth app that I would recommend is called Better Snap Tool. And one thing that's great about um, Windows computers is their drag and snap capability. And what Better Snap Tool does is it allows you to do that. So if we open up here, you can choose and you can create designated snap areas, you can uh, go to preferences so you can say snap to top. So if I just drag this and I, that will, I have it set up to go to maximize. If I move it to the corner, it'll go like that. If I move it to this corner, it'll do that. But you can change and you can create and customize your own um window to snap so for example i created a hotkey that makes it just do three quarters of the screen there's a lot of customize uh, uh, cust customizations that you can do i would check it out um i'm pretty sure this is free but just check it out on the app store and uh try it out okay and this last app is called alfred for Mac, it's an award-winning app for Mac OS, which boosts your efficiency with hotkeys, keywords, text expansion, and more. So there is a ton that you can do with this tool. I've only scratched the surface, but you can search and browse, launch applications, find files on your Mac and you're on web. So you might be thinking this is like Spotlight. It's like Spotlight, but you can customize it even more with hotkeys. So say for example, uh, if I open it up, um, find, and because I'm teaching confederation, there's all of my texts, all of my files within my computer with the word confederation in it. So if I go there, that will open up. You can't see the other screen, but let me bring it over. So it brings right over here, shows exactly where it is. Chapter two confederation. But if I do another search, it's, I should, if I do another search, then you can do Google searches. So like NFL scores, do another one, um, it keeps opening on the other screen. But normally that just pops up like a finder. Um, Academy Word. So not only does it, it can act as a, a great web search engine, but it allows you to search through your computer in a more efficient manner. Um, it can do a ton, so you can extend and automate so link hotkeys, keywords, and actions together to create your own workflow. Uh, there's no single line of code to create a workflow. No need to write a single line of code to create a workflow. Import workflows from thousands of communities of creators. Uh, they shared, apparently there's an app for your phone. You can search the web, calculate, spell and define, find files and file, file, apps and files. Uh, there's system commands, so like sleep your Mac, empty trash, activate your screensaver, and more with keywords. You can take a quick look. Uh, large type, so pop up a phone number or any text in large text on your screen. Usage stats, and so on and so forth. You can keep track of your clipboard history. There's a lot you can do with this app. Clearly, I don't think I've done enough to learn this app, but it's definitely very powerful. I just have the free version. Um, I didn't pay for it because I just used it as a kind of a spotlight app, but I do find that it's quicker than spotlight for doing 
quick web searches and and uh, those sort of things. 